In this video, we'll bounce the equation AgNO3 plus ZnCl2. That's silver nitrate plus zinc chloride. Let's add the atoms up. We have one silver. And then this NO3, it stays together in the reaction. It's a polyatomic ion. It's called the nitrate ion. It stays together. We have one there. And then we have two over here. So since we have this staying together, I'm going to call it one thing. I'll call it one nitrate ion, one zinc, two chlorines. On the product side, I have one chlorine, two of these nitrates, one zinc, and then one chlorine. Let's fix the chlorines because we could put a coefficient of two in front of the AgCl, one chlorine times two, give us two of those. So the chlorines are balanced. Two does apply to everything. One times two for the silver then. That gives us two silvers. So we have two silvers here and one here. Let's put a coefficient of two in front of the AgNO3. So we have one times the two for the silver. That balances the silvers. And because we have one nitrate ion here, one NO3 times the two, that also balances our nitrates. And we're done. This equation is balanced. If we look at this NO3, because it stays together in the chemical reaction as one item, makes the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AgNO3 plus ZnCl2. Thanks for watching.